Hey yo guys, I'm Krigo and this is Elder Scrolls Online. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's talk to the crew members and then we are going off from this rock, right? Depressing place. Too many red guards waving their damn swords around. At least on the spearhead, no one wants to kill me except Irian. Shook him around. She's crazy about me. Well, we can only hope so, right? You know. We already so, uh, spoken to the big guy right there, Andrillion. Wonderful. Now I've been ordered to follow Naramo on another fool's errand. At least the drinks are free. Well, that's good, right? That's good, little Bosmer boy. Irian? What do you want? Are you sitting with us? Of course. I'll pull my weight, unlike Jakan. He's not getting near another woman until I'm too old to stop him. And we Altburn live a very long time. Oh, yes you do. That's what you get, man. You got a plower right now. Well, not right now, though, but Lambur, let's talk. Captain Colleen took her time getting off this damned island. Oh, Doesn't yes. surprise me. Orc problems aren't her problems. But we'd be stuck here if not for your help. I won't forget that. Well, orc problems are no one's problems, by the way, but I would like to help out. You know, I'm just saying. Just saying, indeed. These are... Redgord gears? No! Uh, Breton. Interesting. You, Elishana. To be on the seas once again. This is paradise. Hedman Bosek is a cruel master. If Kaleen will have me, I will join the Spearhead's crew. Well, don't worry about that. You're already on a ship, so I think you're welcome. Uh, Elefin. I can't wait to see Jakan's battle scars. I'm sure he's got them everywhere. Yeah, especially a big one on his behind. Blade's Edge. We're setting sail with the famous Jakarn. Alethian and I have a bet on who's gonna bet him first. Damn, seriously though, huh? <laughs> Wherever Captain Larissa goes, I go. Even on this tub. Can't wait until we get our own ship again. Yeah, me too. Me too. I mean, they are very, very happy with all of it, right? You know, it's a little bit strange, but... I mean, lots of fanboys of your kind and Colleen here. Uh, Telonil. Ah, oh, don't sneak up on me. Oh, and what did you do on the maiden's breath? I was quartermaster. I made sure we had the supplies and equipment to do whatever Larissa wanted. And do you miss it? For now. But Captain Larissa's hoping to get her own ship again. We'll see how things go in Betnik. Ah, so that is our new goal, huh, Betnik? The people of Lambur. Yet, but I can hold a book. <laughs> Perhaps I should find a book that will teach me to fight with my left hand. Maybe. Oh, hand-to-hand -hand combat is a good thing. Oh, 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 oh. Letter to Captain Larissa. Captain Larissa, I see a little point in this exercise. What good can uh, come of the crew uh, listing lost processions? Will Daragor suffer without his lucky dice? Will Heldrun languish without his illustrated lusty Argonian mate? Oh no! I slave still to scrape together enough gold for a ship, let alone the trivialities the crew lost on the maiden's breath. Expecting me to help them replace their lost processions is ludicrous. For now, I will file this list where I keep Crenard's extravagation sieves of recipes. I pray, of I pray that you come to your senses. Of course, I've already ordered the replacements for the makeup, clothing, and wigs used to create your many identities. All this comes for a pittance, and I am certain you will be pleased. Let it never be said that I do not serve you well. Telonio Quartermaster. Interesting. And right over here, Nicoline's di uh, diary. Ooh, private. Let's read it. Nicoline's diary. Private. Hey, you, whoever you are, this is private. Private. If you read it, I'll kill you. I swear. Dive you in the ribs while you sleep. Oh, my. 22 cents hey sail to the dolphins what's today there will be dark elves and argonians everywhere i asked to masha if she knew any of them but she uh, shook her head dolphins watts is crazy looking the buildings are huge and strange they are uh, they all look like churches with spires and arts and suits i bet brother chantal would love it that's interesting right you know yeah derma architecture is strange 
Nicolene has catch one of the Dark Elf Towers. It's quite good. She has a knack for architecture. I wonder what old Kantra would do if he knew I was sailing with Captain Colleen. Ha! I bet he wouldn't approve. I kind of miss him though. 28 Sun Hay of height. Uh, we landed in the Skywatch today. Captain Colleen took me ashore. I thought the Dark Elves were crazy, but the High Elves built like the want to prove something. You can take two sh uh, two steps without seeing some crazy spire thing. They are nuts. Nicolene scans a bunch of towers here, all in a row. They might be made of crystal. Gull and Pox, the High Elves are so snooty. I could tell the motherless sods didn't want to deal with the captain, but in five minutes he had them eating from her hand. She's amazing. I wanted to see more of the city, but the sodding elves are really picky about outsiders, so we had to stay on the docks, but we spent the whole day together. I took notes and carried her stuff. For less seed. We got attacked. Master Kassan said it was a Dunmer slave ship. He had mages on the decks throwing giant fireballs at us. It was terrifying. One of the masts caught, uh, caught on fire, but Tumasha climbed up and put it out. The captain turned us into the wind, laughing like it was all a game. They couldn't keep up. Mara, how does he do it? I was shaking so bad after Kassan has taught me horrible things about Dark Elf slavers. Yeah, they are horrible though. I think some of his family are still in Morrowind. I wonder if he misses them. In Morrowind the Elder Scrolls 3, we did actually have quite a bunch of slaves, right, to, to be escaped. Uh, anyways, uh, Gonians we did have, right? Anyways, this is the best part. After we were saved, the captain saw me shaking and took me aside. She told me I was brave and did well. Then she hugged me. Hugged me! Mara, I'm still tickly. It felt so good. Eight, let's see. As soon as we put into Daggerfall again, I'm going to take all my savings and buy some new clothes. Something nice and proper. Something the captain will like. I asked to Masha if Colleen's ever been married. She just flicked her tongue at me, but I bet not. Colleen's too strong and independent to marry some stupid man just like me. Okay, wait a minute. Stupid man? Excuse me! You look like a woman though, Nicolene. Just saying, right? You know? It's a trap, my dudes. It's a trap. Oh, who are you? Tum ah, this is Tumasha. The crew of the spearhead grows again. I did not think to see it so soon. The sun shines on us. And where am I exactly? They have such an awesome homeworld, right, you know? You're on the spearhead, Captain Kaleen's ship. Hmm, and who are you? I am one of Captain Kaleen's few remaining loyal crew members. The rest... Well, the less said of those bloody-minded mutineers, the better. Indeed, for well, goodbye then. And Fenlil. Hungry? Well, maybe. Store chef, goodbye. Nothing. Uh, Grenard Dorteen. Really? How did they eat this stuff? I'm going to teach Fenlil a thing or two about cooking. So you're a cook? One of the finest, my good friend. I used to own my very own tap cafe in Wayrest before that thug Ugers closed me down. I hope to open another one once I collect enough coin. Maybe in Daggerfall. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe that Umber is sabotaging us on purpose, right? Because he's still loyal to the Daggerfall of uh, Altmer Dominion. Hmm, what do we have here? Derekord lost goods. Knives, boss my bone two times. Dice three, cards pack, book, raid, harbingers of the companions. Uh, unto the sense of the drummer law, words of the wind, uh, cool and ink black. Captain Larissa, there were other per uh, permissions lost in the wreck, but these are missed the most. Getting back some of what we lost will do wonders for crew morale. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Skull line. Thieves gold. Hmm. Large shipment. We're not going to do that, but that's an interesting skill line, right? I did not play with uh, Death Scroll line, by the way, you know, or with this DLC. Uh, bounty is decreased by 7 after 3 minutes, heat is decreased by 5 after two, 3 seconds. Not bad, not bad, not bad. 
Eggling. Ooh, still an item. Sold the defense. I wolf 2% more. Okay, that's rather nice, man. That's really good. It was a beautiful upgrade. I can imagine, though. And also with the Brotherhood, right? You know, the Dark Brotherhood. Because there are a lot of people that just want to be a thief and an assassin, you know, stuff like that. And in the beginning, you didn't have that. No, no. Mm-hmm. Alright, nothing special around here. Stealing, nope. Alright, here are the fine people at Vimy Lacroix. This should or be LaCroix. an interesting voyage. Quite a crew Colleen has thrown together. Oh, but who are you in your name? I don't know. Vimy Lacroix. I'm Lacroix. a collector of sorts. One who travels to places others dare not go. I hoped to join Naramo's expedition to Bizark. When I heard he had completed it and was sailing on, I just had to come along. Hmm, what do you do exactly? You're inquisitive. What I do, I do well. You'll be glad to have me on this voyage if we encounter slavers. And I make a wicked sliced ale. Really, huh? I don't know, I kinda don't trust her. She has that fire. The Spearhead's a good ship, but she's no maiden's breath. At least she'll get us away from Stros Mackay. Looking forward to getting to know Lambour better. I like an orc with a quick blade and a quicker tongue. Yeah, but I think she wants a man that takes a little bit care of himself, though. Even an orc, right? Unless he's a powerful warrior. And to who are you praying, Master Kassan? Again, sailors flock to the spearhead. For this, Kassan is thankful. Well, who are you? Master Kazan is but a humble sailor, though others will tell you stories. Some whisper the name Kazan Five Claw, Terror of the Seas. Yet these are stories for children. We have better things to do with our time, yes? And what can you tell me about the captain? Some call her the Dune Ripper's daughter, others the Forebear Witch. We, her loyal crew, call her Captain Kalin. She is a master sailor. So Kassan now wonders where her allegiance lies. Oh, and what do you mean? There is a forebear king in Sentinel now. Faharajad. He has allied himself with the Bretons and orcs in this Daggerfall Covenant. Kassan fears his apprentice thinks much of Faharajad. Too much. A true sea rover has no such loyalties. Hmm, Captain Kalin is your apprentice? Kassan taught Kalin much. Though she is her own woman, strong and proud, Kassan is grateful to help her find her way. She is a worthy successor. All that was once Kassan's is now hers. You're just a loyal kitty cat, aren't you? Alright. Very interesting, though. Very interesting. Opa. We have no emperor, sadly, right? As an imperial. So we are loyal to the king of Degavol. Before we leave for Betnik, talk to the crew. Get familiar with them. It'll be a long trip. Sure thing, sure thing. Wait a minute. Who is this? Ah, K uh, Crafty Larissa. The spearhead's no maiden's breath, but at least she doesn't have a giant hole in her side. I'd be happy if we never saw land again. Oh, maybe, 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 though, you know. Uh, maybe Captain we can put a Kaleen hole in it. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. There you go. Lumber! Captain Colleen. No, Lumber! Captain Colleen, there we go. Before we yes, we are ready. When we leave for Betnik, an orc island that hasn't yet joined the Covenant, I hope to change that. Lambor is happy to go home. She may try to thank you with ale. My advice? Make it to six mugs. You'll have a friend for life. Okay, well, thank you for the advice, though. Thank you for the advice. Betnik, an orc island. How cool is that, huh? Rank 11. Mm hmm. Oh, weapon swap. Very cool, right? You know, 500 for the next back space upgrade. Also very nice. Next milestone, it's for 15, though. Choice of weapons. Always very nice. More hate speed for now. And off we go here, right? You know, now let's see. Animals. Yeah. How far are we? 15, which is not bad. Yeah, this we have to upgrade too, by the way. It has a level, but... Ah, you know what? The weapon attack can wait. We have to just upgrade all of this, right? Until at least maxed out. Well, not necessarily, but it doesn't matter. All right, increase your physical and spell resistance by 495 for each winter embrace ability slotted. 
now we have almost 1k animal companions uh when you cast an animal companion ability with uh, when you are in combat you generate two utility this effect can uh occur once every eight seconds not too much but good enough all right captain colleen when my crew turned traitor i never thought i'd see betnik again feels good what now head into town and get a drink this is home and we'll be here for a while Here's your cut of the take from the heist. Oh, wow, nice. Careful here. These orcs aren't yet part of the Covenant, but I'm working on that. Feel free to check out Stone Tooth Fortress. Maybe you'll meet a nice orc. Maybe indeed. Maybe a nice lady, right? Why should they join the Covenant? They aren't fools. Proud as the Seamount clan are, they can't deny the Covenant's strength in numbers. And they'll make a mountain of coin selling weapons to our alliance. Probably they are very good blacksmiths, right? Alright, now let's see. We want to destroy some other things, but let's go and wear that. Whoppa! Not very fitting, but it's good. Courage of the trainee has been added. Alright. To my show. Sometimes I miss the swamps of my homeland in the Black Marsh. But it is good to be gone from the dry air of Stros Mackay. Oh yeah, I can imagine for a little, right? Where am I exactly? You're on the spearhead, Captain Kaleen's ship. Well, aren't you precise? And who are you? I am one of Captain Kaleen's Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's go, no, Let's go, right? You know, as you can see, there's a whole lot going on here. Uh, I don't want to talk to Rhea. We are going to abandon this mission here, I think. Well, this is the missing prophecy. Ah, uh, we cannot just have that right now. I mean, we will keep it for now, that is. Have mercy. What's going Please, on, dear? I, I need to buy food. Hmm, we Keep cannot talk to him. Sheath, newcomer. Okay, okay. Calm down. Good thing you sailed in with Captain Colleen. Outsiders aren't welcome on Betnik, especially not now. Okay, and why is that? Bloodthorn cultists attacked the fortress. You're lucky you don't look like them, or you'd have a spear in your belly. Well, it looks like the attack failed, though. Of course, we slaughtered most, the rest fled. They stole something from the chief, but we'll get it back. We'll mop them up as soon as Chief Tazgal raises the army. You want to know more? Ask Lambour. Well, I'll go and find her. Aww, Irian. Curse Jakan. How does he slip about so easily? I turn my back for one moment and he's gone. He's probably off of those slatterns from Stros Mackay. If I find any of them... It won't be pretty. Oh, you're a cute armor, though. He should know better, right? He should know better. But what do we have here? Quite a bit, as you can see. Hmm. And we have to go and find everything. Oh, well, there is one over there already. But, you know, let's go find everything in town. Quite a busy place, though, right? You know? Small but busy. Alright, we sold some stuff here, which is lovely. Uh, we have to only find certain people here and there, right? Marina? The river of Mirana, I mean. through my stall, adventurer. You know what's kind of weird, though? Like, there are so many people here. Oh, see, it's going up. There are so many people here and there from different covenants, right? You know, you might actually think, like, there is no war going on at all. You know? It's, it's a little bit odd. Now, let's see. What do we have here? Beautiful stall, but hello. Outlander, have you met Lokra, the chief's daughter? Not yet. She has a fascination with the lives of adventurers like you. It's unfortunate. And why is that? As chief daughter, her duty is to be wed to another clan, to forge an alliance. Some seek to escape this honor. Lokra is on the verge of such a mistake. Perhaps you could dissuade her. Oh, very difficult, right? Because a lot of tribes get pwned by not doing this because then they are standing out but you know in other words in in our culture they kind of deserve it too then right you know because they are weak in a certain way it seems like a clan of air it is because you are not of our clan that she might listen to you if she departs without the blessing of the clan she will be in exile we cannot lose our only daughter nor is Loka ready to face the life of the clanless Mm, I can talk to her. No mystery where to find Lokra. Check the docks. She'll be there, staring at your ship. 
if she hasn't already snuck aboard. Tulukra isn't your daughter? Moloch's hand, no. If she were, we would not have these troubles. She is the daughter of Shog, Tazgol's hearthwife. That one's softness has made Locris selfish and difficult. Wow, easy for you to say, right? You know, to, to, to choose the destiny of someone else and you don't get along with Shog. I pay her no mind. I only wish I'd given Tazgol a daughter. My boys are strong, but the clan needs more daughters. Well, maybe you can marry off your sons, right? You mentioned the clan's blessing. They won't give it to Lorca. Rarely does a clan permit a daughter to leave, and never without cause. Lokra is the chief's only daughter. We need her to do her duty. If she leaves without permission, well, clanless life is never easy. Well, that seems harsh. Most outsiders view orcs as savage beasts. We have many enemies. We must be harsh to survive. But why harsh to yourself, huh? Why harsh to yourself? Well, we are going to go a little bit further and then we might go back, you know, down uh, to the docks. I do like orc architecture in this game, right? It's not like Tolkien, everything so evil looking. But it is so extremely sturdy. I mean, look at this, right? It's difficult to conquer, you know? And it's, yeah, you know, with lore, it is super difficult to conquer orc strongholds because thousands die by the, well, by the day, you know. Alchemy for my apprentice. Okay, sub three craft potion, advanced alchemical principes. We are just going to keep it as that for now. Not in the mood to read. This was part of a larger plan. I'm sure well, of it. Well, I kind of am directly in the mood to read all of that, though. Uh, what happened? The Bloodthorn cult assaulted the fortress. They were repulsed, but they stole a Breton scroll the orcs found here long ago. Chief Tazgol thinks the attack failed, but I'm not so sure. Mm, what do you mean? The cultists retreated after the initial assault. They came here to steal that scroll, I'm sure of it. But why? Have they set a trap for us? We must know before the chief decides to attack. And how can I help? Start with Shaman Laganak. She witnessed Bloodthorn rituals in the Carved Hills. She's waiting by the Longhouse south of here. Cultists were also seen at Morricelli to the north and Grimfield west of here. Okay, and what can you tell me about Morricelli? It's an alien ruin. Years ago, Breton raiders attacked us. An outnumbered patrol held there for weeks until they were wiped out. Later, our army destroyed the raiders. It's just a ruin, really. I don't know what the Bloodthorn want with it. Mm, what about Grimfield? That's an ominous name. It's a graveyard. Not ours. Breton. When we conquered the islands hundreds of years ago, War Chief Isgul left it intact out of respect for our enemies. We don't desecrate graves. But the Bloodthorn cult will. Plenty of fresh bodies. Mm, what do you know about the Carved Hills? It's mostly wilderness. There are alien ruins, but they were looted long ago. I don't know what the Bloodthorns want there, but Laganic might know more. Hmm, interesting. Well, we have our job cut out for us, right? Well, boys and girls, let's talk to the Orc uh, lady, right, you know? The Orc lady right over here. You were among the crew that arrived with Lambor, yes? Yes. I envy you. Free to see the world and make of your life whatever you wish. Oh, well, you speak as if you are a prisoner. Shackles are not always made of iron. My destiny was decided when I was born a female. As the chief's only daughter, my duty is to marry into another clan, forging an alliance. It is our way and my fate. And wife La Lagruste thinks you'll desert the clan. <laughs> if only I had the courage. I want nothing more than to see the world before I marry. But I can't. Not without the blessing of my mother and grandmother. I could speak to them for you. Go ahead. It won't do any good. Orc clans survive this way for many generations. It's simply how things are. I understand that as much as it angers me. I mean, you know, she only has one life, right? She doesn't say that she doesn't want to do her duty, but she wants to explore and I support that, you know. We cannot live the life for other people. We have only our own life. As long as we don't hurt other people, right, you know? Have you considered just leaving? Of course, but that would mean abandoning my clan. I understand the importance of our traditions. I must be sure I'm doing the right thing. Mm. 
Nah, it seems like you want to... This is a problem, right? About doubting something. And we all doubt stuff. I doubt stuff too, right? But she wants to have the benefits without the consequences. And that's it. And then... The person is just waiting to find a solution for what she wants. That it is given to her without a consequence. And that doubt is just over and over and over and over. It just repeats and she just gets passive, right? We just have to choose. Damn the consequences, right, you know? And that's why we are going to have a weep channel starting tomorrow. I'm kidding. Uh, tell me more about your clan. The clan chief is the only male who takes wives. The wives are crucial to the leadership and stability of the clan. Sons eventually try to take over the clan by strength, while daughters are married off to other clans. So you don't want to be a chief's wife? It's not that. I would enjoy the honor and responsibility of being a chief's wife. I just want to see the world, to live my life before I marry for the good of the clan. Indeed, and I totally support that though. Totally support it. And who are you, Alvuin? Stubborn orcs. I told Master Peverell this was a mistake. They're not even part of the Covenant. Oh no, the fucking bloody savages, right, you know? A letter from uh, Peverell. Lady Delate. These Seamon's orcs are interactable. They have no regard for outlanders as the callers. My entreaty what? My entreaties for a trading contract have been ignored. I know you are loath to give up on possible contact, but nothing is to be gained here. Your informant was correct that no one in Daggerfall has a viable of a yeah, viable trading contract with these savages. Uh, what uh, he left out was that D have no desire for trade. Give me leave to return to Daggerfall. The conditions here are dreadful. They don't even have hot tea. And I have been forced to sleep in my boat for over a week now. I am ready to come home. Your servant, Peveral Stemusef. My big boy. Is he... Is he here on the bottom or something? I don't know, man. I don't know, but... Poor guy, right? For a week in his boat. The poor, poor man. Not even hot tea. Oh, that's the life of a British adventure. adventurer. We have sailed often to that neck these last years. Chief Tazgol is a gracious host. In many ways, this is my second home. Interesting, though. Hmm. Oh, big boy. Better going for the needy. Uh, uh, spare a card for the knee. I need dinner again. All right, but by that though, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe. Though, bye bye.